Megan Trainer and her brother Ryan Trainer. Uh, you guys have a podcast together. Hey, what what's the podcast about? Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have not heard it yet, so I need I need to know if I'm gonna like it or not. Bobby Bones, I don't judge you for that. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I love you still. There's too many podcasts. Anyways. Um, yeah, there's so many podcasts. So uh, we've been approached a lot to do a reality show, but not everyone in our family is ready for that. So we were like, well. We can sit and talk forever because we're best buddies. So uh, we got a podcast called Working On It. And each week we do a new subject of what we're working on. And for me, it's been like motherhood, nutrition, um, living with my siblings. And for Ryan, he's recently sober. So he's working on sobriety, yep. working on being an, a fun uncle. Fun uncle. Trying and to grow yeah. up a little. Trying to grow up. And then you get like a behind the scenes of the trainer household. You know, we all live together. It's yeah. Pretty and we're very open. Like even down to my weight, we just talked about. Holy crap. Yeah, I forgot that. Hey, so you guys would do a reality show, but you have some people that are going, hey, not yet. This is not, or do you, will they always be not yet? <laughs> They'll always be not yet. It's like my mom, mom you, know. you know, your biggest, your number one fan in the entire world. By the way, she's literally crying next to in the next room because I'm talking to you. Well, that's that's very sweet. It, Megan, you lived in Nashville for a while. Am I right? I, I lived there for a year and you were the first person to play all about that bass. Yes, sir. And that feels like ages ago. I mean, it was because it was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually forgotten that that like that small chapter of I saw it on YouTube and played it from YouTube all about that base when you made the video. That is so Yeah, crazy. and my mom reminded me that you got hate because it was they were like, This isn't country and then it blew up and you were like, What now, guys? <laughs> you played it on an award show or you played on a, on a maybe like a CNN yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, Miranda Lambert. Yeah, that is man, I haven't thought about that in forever. Okay. <laughs> uh Megan Trainer is on with her brother Ryan Trainer. They have a new podcast called Working On It. Ryan, are you older or younger? I'm older, just by a year though. We're almost Irish. A twins. year and five year days. Year and five days. But we shared a lot of birthdays together. <laughs> As a mom, then Megan, when he's that close to you, I mean, would you have kids that close? Um. So listen. Um. <laughs> like yes, if I wasn't so busy, like I totally would. Um. My the menstrual cycle is is uh, is it's MIA right now, but I took a test and we're not pregnant, but it, it comes back all f it's fluctuating, I guess. But what a fun game this has been this month for me. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer um, till my kid is at least walking and then start again. What's been the hardest thing about being a creative, um, you know, being in, in Hollywood, you know, someone who's making music and also being a mom at the same time? The hardest thing. Oh, there's not there's not much hard about it for me. I don't know. I'm I, I pretty feel... accommodating with like babies. Oh like, my god. Top Chef was Yeah. Ideal. Top Chef Family Style when I hosted that, I was uh three months after my C section and I was still breastfeeding and pumping and they were the the crew is all women who are moms. So they were like, Do you need a break? Are you okay? They let me bring my baby on set. He was in the trailer the entire time. They were very COVID safe. Everyone wore glasses and a shield. Like it was it was really nice that I could bring my kid to work. Megan Trainer is on with her brother Ryan and they have a new podcast that I hope you guys check out. It's called Working On It. Um I'll mention this. You wrote Road Less Traveled, which was a massive song for Lauren Elena. You wrote that with Jesse Frazier and Lauren. Would you ever play that at one of your shows or because songwriters here in town, you know, they'll play songs they've written for other people. Would you do that live? Absolutely, but I couldn't sing it like her. She's a queen, She's queen of vocals. I miss her so much, but I was watching, what's that show? Oh no, I'm gonna forget it now. The news show, the morning show. And um, the new season, they had a scene where they're at like in New York. New Times Year's Eve. Yeah, and they yeah. play that song, and I'm screaming because nobody told me this was going to happen. And I'm like, I wrote this song, you know? <laughs> so that song always comes back, and I love it, and I love her. You mentioned Top Chef family style, which I do. I watch Peacock all the time because The Office is on Peacock, and so I, I yeah. see the, the preview come through. If you were having people over for dinner at your house, what is your dish that you're like, this is the one that I can nail? Pizza from down the road. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Delivery. She don't cook, uh, bro. She don't cook. She don't cook. But I guess you're like, uh, what's that chicken parm you do? You do a chicken parm? No, I wouldn't. I'm too lazy. I'd just order something really good. All right. But um, I do a keto parmesan. Uh, yeah, parmesan. the keto chicken parm. But yeah, no, it's funny because uh, when I when I got the gig, I was like, why? But I guess personality wins overall. Um, and it was fun because I'm the perspective of the audience. You know, I'm trying to learn. So I was like, teach me how to cook for my son. And I learned so much and I got to eat food and judge it. So it was the best time. Ryan, as someone who worked with your sister, you were a videographer, um, you worked with and for her. Is how, how was that dynamic being, you know, someone who's working with and for and also being a brother? <laughs> it, you know, it was interesting. A lot of fun. Um, it's been like six years. So I kind of reached my max on, you know, Ryan, get the shot. Did you get it? You missed it. Can you record this? <laughs> I'm like, all right, we're going to switch it up. So that's why we're doing this podcast. Thing. Yes. It's also but a like, big draw for him. Yeah. Probably the best memories and moments were, you know, the Untouchable tour. That was the, that was a dream. I got to live the dream. She's like, I want to be the brother photographer. I'm Dude, exhausted. Because, I was yeah. just like, because I got to live life. If I got invited to a really cool party, I would just send my brother on my behalf because I'd be so exhausted. And he's like, girl, you missed out. That was the coolest party ever. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> I would never say it like that. Girl. Are you also training for the New York Marathon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah, yes, November sir. 7th. I got to go running today, actually. Are uh, you at, like, your... your biggest run like when do you do your 18 miler because you do there's there's a, like a really long one but not all the way right yeah. yeah so this saturday i gotta do 19 miles and then the following saturday i have to do 20 miles uh, all for boston children's hospital so that's what you're raising money for yeah yeah, yeah. how do people uh, find that 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 link because i think we should promote that too or, or how they can help you if they cool. want to yeah i appreciate that links in my bio and instagram ryan.trainer okay well listen everybody as you can hear from this conversation, uh, they're very open. When we talk, when we hit the whole menstrual <laughs> cycle, I was like, Lord. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Bobby. Sorry, yes. Bobby. No, listen, I'm here for it. Uh, you guys check out Working On It. It's Megan and Ryan Trainer, and they're they're talking about stuff they're working on every episode. Will you bring people on? Is that part of it too? Maybe, to, or is it just? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not like every week we have a new celebrity on, but it's like important stuff, and it's our it's our close friends and friends family. And family. And yeah. And I have like a nutritionist come on that I worked with that I lost like 40 pounds with. So we're going to teach some people some stuff. All right. Thank you guys for your time this morning. And uh, hope hope the podcast is, is such a success. I'm sure it will be. Thank you, Bobby. Thank Bob. you, Bobby. Bye, guys. Thanks for having us. Appreciate Bye. you. This is the Bobby Bones Show.